Today, we are going to make an advanced pivot using formulas. So here I have got some employee data and we are generating all of this with a single formula. 50 Excel formulas in 50 days, day 30. As you can see here, we have got the date of join and job title and salary columns. And what we want is for each year, for each of the job titles, what is the average salary and how much is the headcount that we have there? Because we don't have the year, we just have the specific date, we will need to calculate the year as well. So we are going to use the let function and we will calculate all the relevant bits first. So the first one is years and this is year of date join column of the staff 30 table. Then you can hit alt enter to write multiple lines of let that way your formula looks much better when you're exploring it. And then we will have titles. This is nothing but just the title column of the staff 30 table. We will also have sales, which is this column and IDs because we want to count how many people are there, the employee ID column. So now that all the four columns we need for the analysis are there, Let's go ahead and generate a group by and we want to have the group by on both years and titles. So we are going to do a H stack of years and titles. And then the values that we want are also salaries and IDs. So we will do one more H stack, H stack of sales and IDs. And finally, the function that we want to do is for salary, we want to have average and for IDs, we want to do a counting. So this also we can do a H stack average and count a. Notice that here we just say the function name and actually the stacking will create a stack of functions and then it will apply them for each of these values. This looks a bit confusing for the first time you do it. After that, it all makes sense. That's it. Let's close all the brackets and hit enter. And our advanced pivot table with formulas is here. How awesome is this?